But first at five, a chilling crime, a two-year-old boy kidnapped and then killed. And tonight, his own father is facing charges. Good evening, I'm Rana Novini in for Adam Cooperstein, and we start with that breaking news, a family tragedy in Connecticut. A father now charged in the death of his two-year-old son who went missing in Stamford. And tonight, police just sharing the disturbing trail of clues that led them to the suspect. News 4's Linda Vaccaro live in Stamford with an update from police for us. Linda. Ran a horrible crime here, the death of a two-year-old boy, Liam Rivera, now deemed a homicide due to multiple blunt force injuries to the head. The details growing more disturbing as they're being released. After an intense manhunt, 26-year-old Edgar Ismaelech Gomez of Stamford is under arrest, held on $3 million bond for violating probation, police now tying him to a tragic loss. He is also a suspect in the death of his two-year-old son, Liam. Liam's body was found yesterday at Cummings Park after police received a call from a family member leading to an all-day search for the suspect and his vehicle. Officers located a possible area with fresh dirt. It was moved around and they unearthed a plastic bag where the two-year-old was inside. Friends of the boy and his mother, who were told lived in this home in Stamford, in disbelief. <laughs> Ada Guzman says the boy had an arm injury when he was just a few months old. She says they told me it was an accident. Police saying today there was an order of protection for the two-year-old boy. This is a horrific and unimaginable tragedy for our city. And as a mother of young boys, my heart is breaking as I know all of our hearts are breaking over the tragic loss of this two-year-old boy. What the officers saw yesterday is not something they signed up for. They are mothers and fathers. They are brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. A tough day for the police department here in Stamford. Police say the mother is now in protective services, and the Connecticut Department of Children and Families say they became involved with Liam Rivera after he was injured. They say that led to the arrest and, con and conviction of Edgar Islamet Gomez in 2022. And in fact, that is what he is now being held for in violating probation in that case. But now that the boy's death has been ruled a homicide, police here say they will look forward look to move forward with new charges in this case. That's the latest live at police headquarters in Stanford. I'm Linda Baccaro, News 4 New York. Back to you.